Hey everybody, I'm Madeline and today I'm going to talk about how my poor time management skills almost led to the downfall of a very important project, but how losing sleep for a whole week saved it. So I received this sketchbook as a birthday present in January and it's called the sketchbook project which I had never really heard of before until I actually received it and after doing some research um, I found out that what you get to do is fill up this little sketchbook with any kind of drawings that you want to and you get to send it back into the world's largest sketchbook library so it's posted there and they also post it online if you opt for that option. Once I read through that, I got really excited and I was so ready to do this and I automatically came up with so many ideas and I had them all in my head and I started writing some of them down and I've had this sketchbook since my, before my birthday in January, but even with all the ideas and writing them down, I just did not take the time to execute any of it at all. So at first when I tested the paper, I noticed that the ink kind of bled through a little bit too much with the paper that it came with in the sketchbook. So I decided to go ahead and use Canson Mixed Media Paper to go ahead and kind of customize it a little bit more. And it's allowed as long as your sketchbook doesn't exceed a certain width, which I think it said maybe like half an inch or maybe an inch. <laughs> I think it was an inch. Um, but anyway, it's okay if you have that and it worked out really well because I really just wanted to stick with ink and maybe some watercolor. I did not want to do full rendered like borderline drawings. I wanted this to look like a sketchbook, like something that I would actually put in my own sketchbook. So I try to keep it within a theme. Um, I really have been drawing a lot of, you know, modern elves and post-apocalyptic stuff. So I, I try to keep it with that, but I didn't want to just restrict myself, especially since, like I said before, I really just kind of dropped the ball and set myself up to have this done in such a short period of time. So I kept it with what I typically draw. So that way when somebody finds it, if they happen to look up my website or happen to look up any of my social media that they can see that that's something that I typically draw that I did not just draw something for like especially just for this sketchbook that I actually it's what I typically draw and what I enjoy drawing and something that you can look forward to seeing more of from me. So I'm just going to quickly flip through it so you guys can see all the other drawings. I only recorded some of the process drawings, um, you know, because of time. And, and I didn't really want to record every drawing and then show you the flip through because I feel like that would have just been a little too much, like a double whammy for you in one video. So I just recorded some of whatever I could and then sketched out, you know, drawings at late at night or early in the morning whenever I had time and then I inked them the way I needed to. And I really wanted to keep this with um, ink, just ink, so that way I could continue practicing. And this is kind of really what I put in my sketchbooks anyway, when I'm just trying to get an idea out quickly and I'm not using thumbnailing or color blocking or anything like that, this is what my sketches would look like or do look like in my current sketchbooks. 
So speaking of ink, I did use my technical pens, my Micron, my Lola pen, and my Mangaka pens. I also used an E&M dip pen uh, with the Deleter for black ink, the uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay ink in green and sepia, and then I used the Daler Rowney FW acrylic ink in a raw sepia. Overall, I am just so glad that I got this done and finished. Of course, it's not up to my own standard I set for myself because for whatever reason, I like to set way too high standards for myself to stress me out, you know, to keep me going. Uh, but I am really glad that I, I was able to finish it and I got mostly the way I wanted it to look to look. I, I wanted some a little bit of variety in there. I did not want to just keep drawing the same thing over and over. So there will be a link probably in next week's video. Uh, whenever they finally receive the book, what they'll do is they'll have it up in the actual library and then they'll post it online so then I can actually have the real link. But see, if I put it there now, nothing's going to show up because I just mailed it today because it was due by the end of this month, which is also a reason why I was on time crunch because they have to have certain books back at a certain time. So that was, that was the only reason why I even rushed through this. Otherwise, I probably would have taken a year to do this and that would have been unfortunate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you've done this, if you've heard of this, if you're going to do it now, because I'll have a link in the description below where you can order your book and you can get started. If you do it, tag me in it because I would absolutely love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. A big thank you to my patrons on Patreon, Matthew, LB, Julia, and Fear the Beard Art.